Right, we're going to crack on. John Joe Jacobs is next. Make some noise for John Joe Jacobs! I was told the more time you do on stage, uh, the funnier you become. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> but cozy here, isn't it? How are you getting on? Like dogs? Uh, to probably explain a bit about myself, um, my personality has been described as a paranoid delusional <laughs> type, but uh, I, I don't really see it like that. My, um, <laughs> my uh, biggest problem is everybody wants to have sex with me. Okay, maybe not today or tomorrow. <laughs> but ultimately, man, woman, and the non-binaries. Uh, yeah, it creates a lot of awkward situations. But my sexual fantasy is to make love to a pregnant woman. Um, I've been trying to understand why <laughs> I, I, su I suppose I do like plenty of company <laughs> um, and, and milk um. Could be because I grew up in a dairy farm. I, I'm <laughs> not sure, really. Um, yeah, I, I should. Um, yeah, you probably know by now. I'm from Ireland. Um, <laughs> did we win something? <laughs> <laughs> it's not until you leave Ireland that you you, you notice how. Identifiable Irish people are. I don't want to say it's the heads on us, but uh, try, try not to be racist here um, to myself. Um, it's probably also the way that we walk. Uh, I think we walk like we just stole something. Nothing major, though. Probably vegetable or something. <laughs> yeah, also... Um, as well as that, I... Um, I... The um, <clears throat> thing I was going to say about myself was... Uh, I suffer from um, uh, mood swings, um, but, you know, it's, it's great some, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm, so I'm from, um, in, in Ireland, I come from a place called Monaghan. Yeah, there's some, yeah, some in there. I was thinking I could smell diesel. <laughs> uh, well, the landscape, the landscape in Monaghan has many drumlins, just like hills. But the bad thing about living in Monaghan is you, you always have to go uphill. But the, the good thing about living in Monaghan is, um, all of the girls have good, strong arses. <laughs> go 
Oh, not the hills. The cattle. Even the pigeons have good strong arses. <laughs> My brother's girlfriend, you can spit a bucket on her arse. <laughs> people, people living on a more level terrain don't know what a hill is. Flat arse bastards. Slipping off seats. <laughs> Was um also going to explain a bit about um my parents are dating. Um so for example, I um I was chatting up a girl the other week and I said to her I was a comedian. Oh, she said. <laughs> How are you like? Oh, dry and slow. <laughs> I said. Yeah, I'm still single. <laughs> I never do know the right thing to say. Um, my ex had schizophrenia. Uh, they were breaking up, I said we should see other people. Uh, <laughs> um, another stumbling block to success in this field is um my um is 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 my physical appearance. Um like my neck isn't supposed to end at the point of my chin. <laughs> Most people have a defined end to their neck. But mine just merges with my chin. It's like extra neck. I call this area my chinac. <laughs> and why is the back of my head in the shape of a question mark? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I, th I think I have to go. Um, Any pregnant women in tonight? <laughs> <laughs>